Hello everybody. Uh, welcome to my latest video for my most comfortable money belt that I designed and developed. It's called the Hidden Pocket Belt Money Belt. Uh, the latest feature that I designed it has RFI protection material. In this video, I'm going to describe why my designed most comfortable money belt is the most comfortable. Uh, why you want to use a money belt, my design improvements for my original design, RFI protection, what it is, why is it needed, what is affected, and then I'll cover what's next. I have a couple new videos coming out, also I have some new designs coming out as well. So let's get started. Um, why my money belt is the most comfortable money belt out there on the market, it's all about location, location, location. Uh, my money belt sits lower than a traditional money belt. I designed this based upon using having a ne negative experience from traditional money belts, which sit higher up on your waistline. My money belt sits lower towards the natural position of your front pocket because you sit down so much during your travels. This is a traditional money belt that I have used in the past, and when you load this up with two passports, credit cards, and money, it sits higher up on the waist because this requires an external belt. In this fashion, you require a belt. So if it has a belt, this traditional money belt would sit too high. And as you sit down, it's very uncomfortable, especially if you uh, have a large waistline like myself. So I designed my uh, money belt to be the most comfortable. It sits lower into the natural front position of your front pocket. Also it has included a belt in there as well. So. As you can see, I currently have my money belt on me, and it looks like I just have something in my front pocket. But if, you go, if somebody tries to pickpocket me, they're not going to get anything. Again, if this is a traditional money belt, it's going to sit higher on the external belt. So if you see my money belt, uh, there's several, four or five inches, it sits lower than uh, a traditional money belt. So again, what do you do when you travel? The first thing you do when you leave your hotel room, what do you do? you sit down and have breakfast, okay? So if your passport, your credit card is located in your front pocket in its natural position, it's gonna be much more comfortable for you, okay? So as you leave your hotel room, you sit down and have breakfast, what's the next thing you do? The next thing you do, you sit on a bus, you sit in a taxi, you sit on a plane, a train, and what do you do? Again, you're sitting down, you want your passport and your documents to be comfortable for you, okay? So that's why I designed and developed my money belt. It's about location, location, location. It sits lower uh, towards the front position of your front pocket. Um, and most travelers have two passports, two credit cards, and uh, some money. So you want to make sure it gets a little bit bulky, but you again, you want to protect yourself uh, from pickpockets while traveling. Uh, my design, again, is discreet. It's comfortable, has RFI protection now, and discreet. So it does, you don't need an external belt. As you can see here, I'm not wearing a belt. Uh, so it's discreet. Nobody really knows that I have an external money belt. Again, traditional money belts, at least you'll still see a money belt there. It's still exposed a little bit. Mine's totally non-visible, okay? It's great for people, females who have dresses and stuff. You, you don't have to have a belt on your dress. You can have this, my separate money belt. Again, it has its own belt. Again, if you're using gym shorts, you're going out for a morning jog on vacation or so forth. Again, most gym shorts or active shorts do not have secure pockets. So my design has its own heavy duty belt and buckle combination. Uh, the specifications on my design, uh, again, it's, it's lined with RFI fabric material uh, on the front and the back of my money belt. It has ripstop uh, nylon material on the front and also it has it on, on the back as well. On the very back, it has polyester knitted material, which is very soft against your skin. Uh, it has two zip compartments. They are independent from each other. Heavy duty buckle and belt, okay? Again, I, one of my design features, I changed uh, the belt to be a heavy duty buckle. The reason is typical waist belts use a single uh, release buckle, which is very, flimsy and it comes off. I actually did try one of these waist belts and when I put it underneath my pants, I actually, it did naturally just snap off because they're so easy to come off. It's just incredible uh, that they would actually use something like that. So I designed the two, the double-sided uh, clips, heavy duty, very difficult to get off. It's not gonna uh, come off under its own free will, okay? 
Uh, my design fits uh, two U.S. passports, well, it fits uh, U.S. passport sizes. The size is five inches by seven inches. The belt goes into a range of 22 inches to 40 inches. It expands up to 64 inches when it's expanded fully. Um, so those are the specifications on my uh, new money belt. Again, it's lined with uh, material, uh, R5 material in the front and the back of the, of the design. Also, I have uh, ripstop material on the back lining as well. Again, I rip, I test my products, I break the zippers, I cut them open, making sure my factories are providing the, the high quality product that I demand from them. Uh, so why do you need a money belt? Okay, the number one crime against travelers is nonviolent crimes. And the number type of crime, of nonviolent crime to travelers is pickpockets. Again, nonviolent, they want to take your items without you knowing it. As, you're, as you walk a block away, you say, oh, I just lost my passport, I lost my credit card. Guess what, you probably got pickpocketed, okay? So all major tourist sites around the world have pickpocketers. In Las Vegas, where I live, in Paris, in China, any busy, busy tourist areas are gonna have pickpockets everywhere. You don't wanna make yourself an easy target. You wanna buy a money belt and keep your documents secure, okay? Now, the most important document that you want to protect is your passport, especially, obviously, if you're going overseas. Uh, you need your passport to re-enter the country, okay? You could lose your credit cards, you can lose your cash, that's all easily replaceable. But your passport, if you do lose it, you can still get into your country, but guess what happens? You'll have to go down to, you'll have to find a U.S. consulate, you'll have to um, get information that identifies you as a U.S. citizen, for example, or your home home country, whatever that country is. Uh, so you're going to spend a day at the U.S. consulate or a consulate of your home country, stressing out, getting documentations, uh, proof that you're a citizen to get back in the country when you return. So do you really want to spend your hard-earned vacation time at a U.S. consulate where you can buy a very low-cost low item to protect your documents? Again, you want to protect your passport. That's the most important thing that you want to protect when you're traveling overseas uh, uh, and you can just if you do some simple research online uh, on pickpockets around the world you'll, you'll be amazed on how much information is uh, out there on the, the number of pickpockets uh, crimes for tourists around the world okay it's not just one country it's every country every city that has tourism okay uh, and unfortunately, Las Vegas uh, being a very uh, tourist city, especially for international travelers, I'm sad to say that I live in Las Vegas, but it is the number one uh, city in the U.S. for pickpockets. And it kind of makes sense. We have nearly 40 million visitors each year coming to Las Vegas, coming to the attractions and so forth. Uh, and we unfortunately have a lot of easy targets. So don't make yourself an easy target. Use a money belt. Okay. So the design improvements that I came up with on my second design are RFI protection, okay? RFI protection in the front and the back of my money belt. Uh, and the protection, it protects at a frequency of 13.56 megahertz, okay? So that's very critical because your passport and your smart car credit cards operate at that frequency. So it's very important that you select a money belt that is protected at that specific frequency. Um, also, one of my design changes, I made the pocket area slightly larger it's five inches by seven and a half uh, seven inches okay so it's easier to get your passport your cash out uh, quickly uh, I have a smaller woven strap here uh, also I like I said I included now on the back side in between the, the outer back side of polyester and the RFI material I do have ripstop material as well added security and strength uh, and it's less water resistant uh, uh, to your documents getting uh, water to your documents those are the major design improvements that I did on my uh, most comfortable money belt. Okay, let's go into RFI protection. What is RFI? RFI stands for Radio Frequency Identification. Basically what it is, it has a computer chip inside your passport or inside your smart credit cards, okay? That stores more information, okay? Uh, so it's a little computer chip, okay? And you need that frequency to operate it at 13.56 megahertz, okay? So, most U.S. credit cards, we are all familiar with that, we swipe it to make a transaction. While smart credit cards use a 
computer chip on the inside. As you can see here, this is an example from, I think this is an American Express blue card. Uh, the plastic is clear, but you see there's like a little chip right there, okay? That means that has an RFI chip in it, okay? Most foreign countries, like a lot of countries in Europe and China, for example, they already use smart credit cards, okay? So you'll hear, you'll hear examples of, uh, of people saying, my U.S. credit card doesn't work overseas. It's because we use a magnetic strip, okay? In most countries, other than the United States, actually use the RFI technology, which is uh, a newer technology than we use as a magnetic strip, okay? Um, so you need to know what type of credit card that you have. Again, 90% of U.S. credit cards still do use the old-fashioned swipe credit cards, okay? And the way you can tell that your credit card may have an RFI chip in it, you can contact your credit card company or you'll see uh, a symbol like a speaker or a Wi-Fi on your credit card on the front or back, and that's going to display that it has an RFI chip in it. Uh, the best thing to do to verify that is call your credit card company and ask them what type of... Uh, a credit card do you have and if you do have a RFI chip in it you will also have a uh, magnetic strip as well to use it okay but again that's uh, that's the latest and greatest technology it's easier technology uh, for the consumer okay uh, so it also makes it easier for the thieves to steal your information off your credit card okay um, again this operates at 13.56 megahertz uh, why is it needed, RFI protection? Again, the number one type, of, the number one crime against travelers is nonviolent crimes, okay? So they don't want to hurt you, they don't want to mug you, they don't want to uh, take your, your, your cash, your identification in a violent manner. They do it nonviolent. And the number one type of crime is pickpockets. Now, the other new nonviolent type of crime that they're getting into is electronic identification, okay? So with smart cards, okay, they'll take your information without without physically taking it from you because they transmit the signal from their device a reader to your from your credit card and they'll take your personal information off there okay so again it makes it easier for the consumers to use these credit cards with a chip in it but it also makes it easier for thieves to take your information okay so i'm going to demonstrate how a thief would grab your information from you as you're traveling okay this is a card reader okay uh, that reads at 13.56 megahertz. The reason I keep repeating that number because it's very important that if you are testing your your um, your money belt blocking material, you want to make sure you have the right frequency because um, you might buy lower cost money belts out there that say they are protected, but they may not uh, protect you at that frequency range. Okay, so here's a card that's actually uh, at 13.56 megahertz. Okay. What happens is, you hear that beep, that means this is a smart credit card, this is a card reader. That beep is that they just transmitted between the two. So if a thief has this program, and this is your credit card, they'll steal information from your credit card, okay? And how it works now is that if you have your credit card in your front pocket, for example, a thief will walk around, and what thieves are doing now, they are dressing up as tourists, so you don't even think they're a local or whatnot, they'll be looking like you as a tourist will put it in a shopping bag and they'll come up to you and they'll get your information listen obviously a thief's not going to have the speaker on so you wouldn't hear that but now they just stole your information without really touching you without even interacting with you they just grab your credit card information your account number your address everything and what they do with that information is, is they go take they go make credit cards with that information on there and they make purchases with it. So that ha that's how it operates, okay? So, <clears throat> again, that's how that works. So if you have a money belt that has RFI lining material in there, protected at 13.56 megahertz, you won't hear the beat. Listen. Front, back, you don't hear a beat. Your information is protected, okay? You take it out of the money belt. See, listen, put it back in. Put it back in. No beep, no beep. So you protected your information. Okay? 
So that's a great way. Again, if you have a one that's not protected, this is a competitor of mine. It does not have RFI material in there. You take this, hear the beep, it's not protected. Okay, your information is not protected. Okay, so make sure you get the right money belt with RFI protection in there. Now you've just totally uh, protected yourself. Okay, so that's how a thief would steal it. Again, they're going to put it in a purse, they're going to put it in a shopping bag, they're going to dress up as tourists, they're going to grab your information without even you even knowing it. So you want to protect yourself. Okay. What is affected by RFI technology? Well, the first one is smart credit cards. Again, it's the credit cards that have the uh, chip embedded into them. Again, it still stores more information. It's convenient for the, for the consumer, but again, obviously it makes it easier for the thieves as well. So. Uh, the other thing that you have to protect yourself is identity theft. So I've been wearing my money belt in my front pocket. I'm going to take out uh, my passports. Again, I have two passports in here. Uh, as you can see, uh, the one with the symbol right there looks like a little camera. That, ha that means that has an RFI chip in there. Okay, Any passport that's been produced after 2006 has an RFI chip embedded in there. Again, the RFI chip stores more information. So they store a picture of you uh, of what's on the passport in the chip, name, address, and all that information, okay? So when you go through immigration, they make sure on the computer chip matches the information that's on the actual physical passport, okay? This is an older passport that does not have that symbol right there, okay? So this does not have a RFI chip in it. So anything produced, passports produced after 2006 will have the uh, RFI chip in there, okay? It's added security for uh, for the traveler. Okay, so in a couple of years, everything 2016, again, passports are good for 10 years, so you're going to have pa all passports that have RFI chip in there. So again, you want to protect yourself by having a money belt that's lined with RFI protection material. Okay? So how do you protect yourself? Okay, the best thing you can protect yourself while traveling is Wear a money belt, okay? Wear a money belt. And also, if you have smart cards and you're worried about your identity, identify, identification, get one that's lined with RFI protection material, okay? Um, and if you have one of my old designs or if you have, if you want to protect your purse or your backpack uh, from RFI signals, you can easily make one uh, protection. I found this online. I, tried it and I tested it and I use it, in, I use it in my original money belt. It's basically aluminum foil that everybody has in their house. I just double fold it over, get some thicker stuff and make sure it's the same size of whatever you want to protect. Use duct tape. Again, everybody has duct tape in their house. Lock, cover your aluminum foil with duct tape and you got a protection barrier. Okay. So again, here's your smart card. Hear the beep, put the aluminum foil with duct tape over it, you don't hear a beep. Don't hear a beep. Take it away, you hear the beep. Okay, so you just protected yourself. That's how the device works. It's a real simple device. It's a very simple to steal your information. Uh, so you definitely want to protect yourself. You can easily make your own stuff. Again, a simple way to protect yourself, call your credit card companies before you travel. Tell them what countries you're visiting. Uh, and what purchases that you may be making roughly in, in a range. Also, everybody has smartphones nowadays, so you should have a spending limit notification sent to your smartphone when something happens. For example, I have one set up for myself for $100. So anytime I make any type of purchase over $100, I pay any bills through my credit card uh, or my ATM card online, I automatically get a ding from my smartphone. Okay, so it's a real safe way uh, to protect yourself especially against large purchases. Because if some, if you get an unauthorized purchase immediately, you can call up and you can take care of it immediately, okay? So, uh, definitely protect yourself with a money belt. Uh, my next video is coming out. I'm really uh, excited about that one. It's called How I Use My Money Belt. It's actually how I physically actually use my money belt um, when I travel. I have got a lot of questions and feedbacks from customers that purchased my money belt uh, online. They said, how do I actually use it? When should I use it? Should I go through security with it? Uh, should I be using it on the airplane? Um, and so forth. So um, I actually use my money belt 
um, differently on different phases of my travels. So um, I will definitely going to put that up in the next several weeks. Okay, uh, it's pretty interesting because I actually do use my money belt or carry it differently on different phases of my trip. And I will um, have that video up on YouTube soon. Also, I'll be working on new designs. I'm coming up with a neck design uh, for a money belt. Uh, um, also, making different uh, design changes to this for uh, added features, different uh, um, uh, designs, features for this type of money belt. So I'm very excited about that. Uh, again, thanks for watching my video. Thanks for buying my original design. I sold out. I sold in 26 different foreign countries. I sold in all but uh, three states in the United States. So thank you very much for all my uh, um, um, customers that bought my product. Really appreciate it. Uh, again, if you want to buy my products, uh, my money belt, you can buy it on Amazon. You can buy it on eBay under Merchant Vegas. You can buy it under fangmartin.com, which is my personal website that I created. Uh, for displaying travel tips to China. So if you are going to China and you have any questions uh, about China in general, traveling in there, or any questions about the culture, please send me an email uh, via my website and I'll definitely respond to you. And again, if you have any general travel questions, I recently helped somebody in Europe with a lot of uh, travel questions uh, about going to Europe, please send me an email. I will email you directly within, uh, within several days. So please uh, keep your questions and comments coming. I really appreciate those. Again, thanks for watching my video. Thanks for buying. Um, travel safe and travel smart. Thanks.